why do people fear so much or, or a bit like skeptical about Napuhi? So what was the thing uh, with the tribe Napuhi yeah. that all the Maoris and all the other Iwis are a bit like, ooh? Yeah. Well, it, well, it's, you see, um, it, it's, it, it was the damage Hongi did with his, with once he acquired the, the armaments, the modern armaments that he, he'd seen in England. The Hongi, to take, you know, to, 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 um... So Hongi was like the leader, the he chief was, of the... He the was the, the warlord of the time. Warlord. Yeah, yeah. You, in Napui, you can't say he's higher than that high, that's a chief <laughs> or that high, that, they're all their maunga, you know, you know, no, nah, nah, each hapu, as far as they were concerned, each, each chief sat on their own maunga and, uh, you, you, you know, there's, there is no one higher than themselves. So they all thought like that. You got 125 hapu. Okay. Can't do that. That's a so you two, got 125 chiefs. Small stick. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> no, no. It's it's like when they when when they went looking for to start the kingi tonga. Hey, when they went down to uh, everywhere. Uh, yeah, they went all over <laughs> looking for who's who wants to be the king. You know, and um and uh, um uh, uh, to tara ppp tamiana, and they went looking. You know, the the idea. Of having a king, and uh, well, Pakeha had a king. Why doesn't the question was asked? You know, I don't know by who exactly who asked the question, but the question was asked: Why doesn't Māori have a king? You know, a king, and um, so they went around the country, looking, looking, and they went north to, of course, to Napui. And um, they asked Tamata Wakanene if he would like to be the first Māori king, and he, he declined. So they went everywhere they went. Hey, there's a waiata, a day, Taranaki, we wa, eh? mm. we wa ki Taranaki. Anyway, they talk about this, this hikoi when they went looking to be who was going to be the king before they settled the on consultation the round. Fiddle, fiddle. The consultation round, exactly. Exactly. Select Fre- committee. Friendly? Select committee. Oh, no, friendly. Yeah, friendly. <laughs> People saw that there was a need to unite because your enemy is in brown. Yeah. Mm, so we need a single another. voice to speak for us. Mm, yeah. Mm. But in Māori style. That's right. People would defer and defer and defer. Yeah. In a way that meant they weren't losing their own mana. But obviously at the time there must be someone that can call on more stuff. That can go and yep. make it happen. Make it happen. And if you're surrounded by... Relations, first, second cousins that have been eyeing up your patch for the last ten generations, then you'll probably say, "Oh no, ask them because I'm busy." Mm. That kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, and and and, and, and so they they um, they go to down to Gisborne, you know, down to uh, down to, uh, and they ask the chief down there to Kani Atakira. <laughs> right, they ask him. He says, "What do you mean you come down here to ask if I want to be a king?" I'm already the king. <laughs> you know? That's rangatira whakaro, eh? That's, that's the way the rangatira work. Hongi is no different. You know, northern, no matter what. Let's, 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 let's look at it in this light. If Ngāti Hei would have received the muskets first, set up the trade, right, the trade of mokomokai and all this sort of thing, and, and we received the muskets first and the shot and the powder, the cannons, the rockets, whatever you, went to England, you know, set up the trade deal. What did you, th- what would you think Nathie would do? The same bloody thing. We'd get there and conquer the bloody world if we could because that's who we were that back then. We were the rangatira. We were no, the consummate warriors. That's all we, you know, our, our, our people. No different to, to any, to Alexander the Great or Napoleon or Kublai Khan or that's how it was back. And put yourself back in 1800, or 1850s, you know, after, after um, well, Hongi died in 1828. All right. That's when, he, when he, he died of his wounds in 1828. See, and that's why. And so, and so it wasn't very far after Cook, well, not more than fifty years after Cook um, had had arrived, right? And so that the um, so in that time, you know, Hongi kept an account of all the battles and insults, and um, you know, each tribe had all this. We call it the Raru. They all had it, 
our pol- it's a it's our way of politics. So um, uh, and so Hongi uh, made it his his mission to put his uri everywhere. Do you want you want do you want to elaborate on that for me, Brandon? Or his well, uri? He wanted <laughs> he wanted uri to means put descendants or relatives. Oh. But I've noticed some people yeah. learn Māori, they're mixing it up with the word ure, which means penis. So yeah. make sure ah, uri okay. is the children. Children, to descendants. Have, to have descendants. As opposed to Bloodlines and whakapapa to right. all the hapu. Then that way he had paramount, and he became paramount, uh, an, over, an overarching uh, tūpuna, ancestor. Yeah. So with that comes with comes the power, you know, become comes the tribal... True Ariki Tanga. And so that that was his goal. Right. That Genghis Khan thing of spreading the exactly. seeds. Exactly. Eh? Yeah. Genghis Khan. But 